thank you for joining us today. We are going to be trimming up a young maple tree. We are going to be supporting some of the cuts. We are going to be removing a co-dominant lead. We are going to be examining the tree to see what we can find that could be wrong with the tree that will be affect it in the future that we might be able to better it now uh, and um, give it a longer, healthier life. Uh, first thing we're going to go ahead and do is trim off some of the lower branches and then we'll work our way up in the tree. We'll examine the roots um, and the bark and we'll see what we find. Um, the tools we're going to be using today obviously won't be a chainsaw because we're making smaller cuts. We'll be using a very sharp pair of hand snips and also a blade knife. Um, these are very sharp, they're effective tools, and this is what you need for the kind of work we're going to do. Well, we're going to go ahead and start off with removing some of the lower branches. As you see right here, there is a collar and every branch has a collar and you need to trim these right at the collar and you can see and you can feel where the collar is on any tree they have a collar at the branch it's very important that you make your cut there so that it can close itself it can compartmentalize the decay a branch this size it does have a little bit of weight to it even though it's small you would want to go ahead and do a three point cut on this start off on the bottom and then you'll go ahead and you'll finish up your cut on the top that's what you have a nice clean cut and then you cut it back over to this point you don't want to allow it to peel the bark back and that's what you want nice angled this will compartmentalize and it'll not allow any further decay into the tree we're gonna go ahead and catch up do a couple of more cuts and we'll be back with you in a minute